Hi guys, so today I am going to be teaching you how to clip in extensions with hair short as mine. <laughs> it's grown a little bit and um, I'm just going to show you the um, tricks and tips and how to do it. I posted a picture of it when I very like when I first did it on my Facebook page and loads of you commented asking for a tutorial and to see the back of it. Um, yeah, I'll let you see the back of it, um, obviously, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So, in terms of blow drying, um, you kind of need to blow dry it how you would have your hair if it was naturally long. So, I can't sort of bring all this and sweep all this over and then try and stick extensions in it because it just, it doesn't work. So, I just created a parting, a side parting, so I had some length here to kind of cover my ear a little bit and obviously this side's fine because that's where my fringe is now I let it get to there and then blue dry this backwards and because this bit here is just going to hide, um, help hide the uh, tracks because that is the thing that you're fighting to do with short hair is just to blend it and hide the tracks now the extensions I'm going to be using are the Superior set by Foxy Lux and to be quite honest, I feel like I do need more extensions in my hair. However, I just don't have the money to buy them at the moment. So just bear with me. And the way that I'm going to do it is make them wavy using the conical curling one by Babyliss, which is that thing there. And if it's wavy or if it's curly, it just makes it look more voluminous and thus looks like there's more hair. My wefts are all sort of lined up there and these extensions did start off their life being bought as caramel and have since changed colours as my hair changes. If you're, you've are you been subscribed for a little while then you would know. Um, but they're still in good condition and I have very recently cut and dyed them so that they go with this hair and um, I do have the video on that. But, um, I'll link that at the end if you are interested in seeing that. So usually when you install extensions you would start off as low to your hair line as possible. So probably you'd start off about there. We are not going to start there, we're going to start about here. Maybe, maybe even at the top of the ears or in the middle of the ears. And you, there's no way that you can really back home and there's not really much point. So using your fingers just going to make a line like this. Now there's no way you're going to get it perfect, so... Just pop a clip on there. Right, so it's just going to be a rough line. Um, something you'll learn is that it's never going to be sort of perfect. So the first weft I put in is three clip and it is the one that I cut to be the longest. What I do is have my clips open and just as you would, pop the middle clip in. You can kind of use your fingers to lift up the hair that's around here. Like that. I'm just going to pull that forward. Don't worry about this bit here, you won't actually see that afterwards. Create a new part. Just a little bit up from that one. Second three clip. And I'm just going to pop that in. I'm just going to curl these while I'm putting them in just because it becomes a lot easier. Instead of putting them all in and then trying to get to the layers underneath to try and do it all, it just doesn't really work very well. My next weft is this four clip one. Taking that, I'm just going to put it in like I did the others, but instead of putting it in the middle, I'm going to just bring it over to one side. The next weft I'm taking is the volumizer weft, which is kind of the thickest one. And I'm just going to put that above that one I just did. Now I know this side looks a little bit thin, but I'll sort that out afterwards. And what we're going to do with this one is just put it in the middle. And bring it forward. I'm just going to go back and curl these. Once it's curled, I'm then going to start on the sides of my head. So make your part in and clip it. And I just have this quite long one inch piece which I'm just going to clip in there. And I have this second one inch clip which actually is short and goes down to long. Put it in the middle, taking the longer one inch piece, 
just going to pop it there. Taking a smaller angled piece, I'm just going to pop that closer to the front. So at the moment it looks a little bit weird, I think that it looks very flat and then it just goes quite long. And um, this is a bit that I kind of struggle with in saying that I need more hair because it would give more bulk up here. Um, as my hair grows it will look better anyway. What I'm going to be doing is taking another four clip which is actually quite short. And I'm just going to pop that around my crown. I'm just going to get it as close to my parting as possible. Now that gives these short bits at the back and that is the sole reason why this was blow dried backwards so I could have a weft that's going round there. So the next one is the two clip weft which sort of graduates again. Pop that in there. Okay, so all I did was finish putting the curls in my hair. Um, with this strand here, I just used the straighteners to flick it back. So it kind of blends in with the curls a little bit more. Now with this bit here, you may see it's a little bit flicky. I just grabbed this and twisted it back with the straighteners. So it, it kind of looked like it joined a bit more. What I do is just add a little bit of volume up here. So I've taken a teasing comb. I'm just going to back comb it. Spray that. Guess who's all done? So this is what it looks like from the top. And if we spin round slowly, that's what it looks like. Hopefully you can't see anything. Now I haven't, there's no point doing anything to my own hair just because it's so short. But um, this is what it looks like as a whole. I do think it looks kind of wig like but that might just be because I'm used to having such short hair but um, as I said I would be much happier with more wefts so I could make it a lot more bulkier up top but no I'm really really happy with how it turns out it actually turned out a lot better this time than it did the first time that I tried it so I'm very very happy right now so I hope this is easy to follow, it's so so fun to stick extensions in and to see what you can kind of create. So um, I am going to be coming up with hairstyles and I'll show you how to do them um, with the extensions as well as sort of without, so with my short hair. But um, I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget links to my Facebook, Instagram and Tumblr are down below. So if you want to come over and follow me that would be awesome. Apart from that I hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're doing and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!